A few people have asked for my skincare routine, literally just two of you guys, um, but I thought I'd show you guys because I'm pretty proud of how my skin looks. I think I've been being consistent and working hard at it. First of all, I struggled a lot with acne and just oily a combination of oily and flaky skin since I was in middle school and I had really bad acne in high school. I gotta talk quick because I've got 10 minutes and then it's my therapy appointment. I got into Korean Beauty and I've been using this Centella cleansing foam. It's really gentle foamy cleanser and I also use this Tordin toner um, I'm gonna use some right now actually On a night I use toner pads and this is from Num Numbuzin I don't know how to say that This one is the Pore Zero Peeled Egg Toner Pad It doesn't smell like egg, I think it just means that your skin is gonna look like a peeled egg And for the moisturizer I use this brand It's pretty thick for winter usage but I think over the summer I'm going to use this one. I just find it really light and refreshing. As far as skincare goes this is all the products that I use. I don't do a 10 step routine. It's I feel like the more products I use the worse my skin gets. I use this Korean website called Josie and the products are actually pretty cheap. Um, when they got shipped to my house in England, I did have to end up paying a 25 pound FedEx tax import fee or something like that. I don't know if people from the United States have to do it, but I still think it is totally worth it. This pimple patch from Korea, chef's kiss, amazing. Um, they're just little circles. I leave it on for a bit longer than I'm supposed to, I think. So 24 hours later, I take it off, nothing. It's smooth. You could still see a little bit of redness on it, but there is no bump. There is no none of that painful. I've got the star ones, but it works a lot better than this. I do still use the star ones because I just think it's a cute decoration on my face. Um, but this is not really effective if I'm going to be honest. But this, this is it. I'll link all these products in the description box. I'm not sponsored by them or anything, but I just love them so much. And if you guys have skin problems, I think you should totally give it a try. It completely changed my skin texture and just the whole game. The whole game, guys. Thanks to BetterHelp for being a paid partner. I just finished with my BetterHelp session and I've been talking to her for four or five sessions now and starting the rest of my makeup now. Oh no! I forgot to put primer. Oh well. So I've never done therapy before. I feel like it's always been something openly talked about, which is great, but it never really crossed my mind to try it for myself because the idea of going out to meet a therapist for the first time sounds awfully like a first date and it feels really intimidating. But with BetterHelp, which is this video's advert, you can have your 
therapy sessions as a phone call, which is what I've been doing, as video chat or even messaging, just whatever's the most comfortable version of therapy for you. So just to get started, you fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs and then you'll get matched with your credentialed therapist in most cases within 48 hours or less. The first couple of therapists I've matched with didn't feel right, so I switched which can be common when starting out. With BetterHelp, you can easily change to another therapist at no additional cost. I'm happy with my current therapist. It is just really lovely to have someone on the other line who is trained to listen and give you helpful, unbiased advice. And I want to stress how your problems don't have to be huge traumas or struggles. I've learned that they can just be everyday issues and the therapist can give you some insight on how to deal with them without letting it affect your mood or feelings. In our last session, she said something like, because you don't have siblings, it might be new or harder for you to talk to others when you need help or when you want to compromise or come to a solution. So you might end up bottling it up and letting yourself be upset. And I think that is just really true for me. If you think you might benefit from therapy, consider BetterHelp. Click the link in the description or visit betterhelp.com slash purplekabocha. It helps support this channel and it also gets you 10% off your first month of BetterHelp so you can connect with a therapist and see if it helps you. I bought a lipstick yesterday and I also bought bags of hot chocolate and I put the lipstick in the little paper bag that came with the hot chocolate and I just realized that I tossed away that bag yesterday and I was doing my makeup and I was like, oh my god, the lipstick is in there. So thank god my boyfriend didn't empty and take the trash can out. This is the MAC Lustre Glass Lipstick in the shade, like I was saying. And that is my everyday makeup routine. I did make today a little bit special because I added the glittery eyeshadow, but usually I don't do that.
weather just got so bad outside all of a sudden. Catch up on some videos. I tend to go in phases where I watch someone religiously um, or I don't watch YouTube at all and recently it's been in one of those moods where I don't watch YouTube at all because it's kind of different when you make content yourself and you watch other people and it's like wow they're so productive or they're so pretty or their lives look so good and it's so interesting and what am I doing here? So I feel really discouraged sometimes when I watch other content creators that do similar videos to me. It was nice and it feels quite the kickstart month that I was hoping for. Hmm. On the topic of watching Moya, um, this was back in December when I went to Paris and posted a Paris vlog. Someone commented, you're trying so hard to be Moya. And I was like, <laughs> um, what do you mean? Like, I mean, I freaking love her. Don't get me wrong. I love Moya. I love Leah's Field Notes. I love Jasmine Chan and can't think of who else now but because like I said I haven't been watching anyone's vlogs or anyone's YouTube the past few months because I was like I'm taking a break from this like but I haven't seen what she's been up to or things like that I know I started watching her when she was in Dublin doing her Dublin diaries and I think she was an art history student I mean, it's flattering to even associate my channel to Moya because I am a huge fan of her. And I guess as human beings, we were drawn towards the things we like and we mimic it. Not really knowingly either. It's just, I think at the end of the day, it all comes down to the vibe and how we live our life and the scenes and the moments we are inclined to capture because we're drawn to that type of beauty. I don't even know what I'm talking about right now, but no, I don't really think I'm trying to be Moya or anything like that. I'm not moving to Paris. I'm not living in a chic apartment. I've got a house in Plymouth. <laughs> And um, I'm an illustrator, I do illustrations, and I, Moya doesn't do art, or I think she might do, actually, but, you know, she's not trained in making art. So, yeah. I'm gonna show you what I've been working on for my editorial illustration, and I think my memory card is full, so I need to change it. So what it comes to 
I was just about to edit a video and my ceramic supplies came. I'm so excited because this means when I go to Ocean Studios, I can also work on my ceramics and not just do silk screen. Um, as long as they don't have a meeting in the room, which is what happened before. But also, I just couldn't really get into it because the clay was so hard. These are underglaze crayons, so I'll be able to illustrate much easier with these crayons rather than brushes and underglazes. And I also got underglaze pencil, which again would make drawing on your ceramics a lot easier. Oh no, my battery's about to die. Um, the rest of these, oh, so this whole thing oh, is clay. And I just have, oh, these are so cute. These are under glazes because I want to focus more on drawing on my ceramics this year. So this color is in walnut, so it's going to be a dark, nutty brown. And what is this? This is white, so I could mix it in with other colors to make it more opaque. And this is terracotta and this is jasper green. I'm so excited to use these. 